Some countries pay you a lot, but the cost of living is really high. Other countries pay you a lot less, and the cost of living is substantially lower as well. But then there are some countries that pay you very little, and you wonder why you're even working there in the first place, slogging your hours away. If you were doing the same job in a different country, you'd probably be getting a lot more in terms of income, you'd have a better work-life balance, and you'd be a whole lot richer. Wait, why didn't you think of this earlier? And if only you knew which these countries were. Now, if you're looking to move to another country, there are a lot of factors that come into play while deciding which country it's going to be. Like there's the weather, there's the ease of getting a visa, there is what your standard of living is going to be like, the cost of living, but most importantly, the most important reason should be how much money you can make in that country. Now, some countries pay their workers a lot more than other countries do for essentially the same level of work. So it's really important to you know which these countries are before you start deciding where to move so that you can hedge your bets accordingly. Now with that, let's dive in. At the bottom of the list, we have Germany. There's a lot more to Germany or Deutschland than just snow-capped peaks and iconic castles nestled in the hills. Germany is one of the biggest hubs for tech in Europe and with an equally strong pull for people looking to work in the financial or automotive sector, expats in Germany make up 13% of the population. According to Germany's own federal employment agency, the country needs over 400,000 skilled migrants to arrive every single year in order to feed its demand for labor. The average annual salary in Germany is $56,000. Let's look at the average annual salaries for some different jobs. Banking earns approximately $57,000 a year. The car industry pays out about $45,000 a year. If you're working in commerce, you stand to make $46,000 a year. The chemical industry pays $46,000 as well, but the information technology industry pays $66,000 on an average. The monthly cost of living for a single person is $2,130. The monthly cost of living for a family of four is $3,977. The top industries in Germany include agriculture, automobile engineering, tourism, electronics, financial services, construction, machine industry, pharma and environmental technology. Some of the skills that are in shortage in Germany include for STEM graduates, particularly scientists and engineers in the automotive, electrical and mechanical fields. They also need more IT specialists and mathematicians at banks, insurance firms and other large companies to help with software and security and health workers. Number 9 on the list has Austria. Like some of the other European counterparts, expats in Austria ranked Austria very high on quality of life, but low on overall friendliness of the Austrian population. Austria has a very strict business culture that has defined work hours. But beyond office hours, the priority is for the family. And so many companies are naturally flexible in terms of their working hours. The average annual salary for working in Austria is $58,000. Banking pays approximately $53,000. The car industry pays $41,000. Education and research pays you $39,000. Insurance jobs pay approximately $44,000 and marketing and PR jobs pay $45,000 a year. The monthly cost of living for a single person in Austria is £2,141. But if you're looking at a family of four, you'll look at paying £4,191 a month. The top industries in Austria include the food and luxury commodities industry, mechanical, engineering and steel construction industries, chemicals and vehicle manufacturing industries as well. There's a shortage of skills in terms of engineers for agricultural machinery, engineers for power engineering technology, healthcare assistants, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, nurses, physicians, cost accountants, payroll accountants, motor vehicle mechanics, building fitters, plumbers, tool makers and a lot more. At number 8, we have Norway. Norway consistently ranks among the top countries for work-life balance, but is often not ranked very high up in terms of career prospects. About 17% of the country's population comprises of expats, and while the cost of living is notoriously high, most residents complain of lack of options when it comes to leisure and entertainment. 
The average annual salary in Norway is $58,000. If you're looking at the banking industry, it's a lot more at $64,000. Telecommunications pays you approximately $62,000. Technology development is looking to pay $72,000. Management pays $78,000 and law and legislation plays $66,000. The monthly cost of living for a single person is $2,672. But the monthly cost of living for a family of four is $5,181. The top industries include petroleum and gas, shipping, aquaculture, fishing, food processing, paper products, shipbuilding, chemicals, metals, timber, mining and textiles. There's a shortage of skills for doctors, engineers, kindergarten teachers, nurses, handymen, builders, agricultural workers, programmers, healthcare workers, software professionals, construction and trade workers. At number 7 is Belgium. Famous for its waffles, french fries and beer, Belgium ranks as one of the safest and most peaceful countries in the world. 14% of its country's population comprises of expats with affordable healthcare and excellent education. The average annual salary in Belgium is $59,000. The banking industry pays approximately $52,000. Education, science and research pays $38,000. Electrical power engineering pays $45,000. Information technology pays $59,000 and management jobs pay $63,000 on an average. The monthly cost of living for a single person is $1,771 and the monthly cost of living for a family of four is $3,701. The top industries include processed food and beverages, engineering and metal products, transportation equipment, motor vehicle assembly, chemicals, scientific instruments, textiles, glass, petroleum, and base metals. Belgium has a skill shortage for civil engineers, social workers, auditors, junior medical staff, English teachers, builders, programmers, and other engineers. Next up, we have the Netherlands. The Netherlands is one of the richest countries in the world, known as the European Transportation Hub. The country is home to some of the biggest multinational corporations in the world, such as Unilever, Philips, Shell, and Heineken. The Netherlands pays an average annual salary of $60,000. Some of their other salaries include $124,000 for doctors, $103,000 for lawyers, $85,000 for company managers, and $71,000 for HR managers. The monthly cost of living for a single person is $2,416 and the cost of living for a family of four is $4,511. The top industries include agro-industries, electrical machinery and equipment, metal and engineering products, chemicals, construction, petroleum, microelectronics and fishing. They have a skilled shortage in terms of teachers, civil engineers, science and engineering professionals, science technicians, ICT professionals, installers, repairers, financiers, and agricultural professionals. Okay, so here's a thought. Would you rather make a whole lot of money and stay in a very average city or make less money but stay in an absolutely incredible place? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and click on the bell icon for notifications. At number 5 we have Denmark. Denmark ranks first in work-life balance and a higher than average time spent on leisure and personal care. The official working week is 37 hours. In Denmark, only 2% of employees work very long hours compared to the OECD average of 11%. The average annual salary in Denmark is $61,000. Administration jobs pay $53,000. Banking jobs pay $78,000. Education, science and research pay $60,000. Information technology pays $85,000. And mechanical engineering pay $65,000 all on an average. The monthly cost of living for a single person in Denmark is $2,500 and the monthly cost of living for a family of four 
is $4,773. The top industries in Denmark include steel, non-ferrous metals, chemicals, machinery, food processing, transport equipment, textiles, electronics, construction, furniture, shipbuilding, windmills and pharmaceuticals. Denmark is facing a shortage of skills in the social field, in natural sciences and engineering, in healthcare, teaching and education, economics, administration and sale, information and communication technology, law, social science and culture amongst others. At number four is my absolute favorite, Switzerland. The Swiss might be known for their dedication to hard work and finesse, but an equal emphasis is on their time off. Though Switzerland ranks high on safety and security, it doesn't do too well on friendliness. It's also got one of the highest percentages of expats with 28% of the population born overseas. The average annual salary in Switzerland is $68,000. An information systems architect makes $136,000. A doctor makes $133,000. Investment bankers make $119,000. A vet makes $115,000. Accountants make $90,000. And software engineers make $88,000 on an average. The monthly cost of living for a single person in Switzerland is, hold your breath, $3,999. The monthly cost of living for a family of four in Switzerland is $6,781. The top industries include machinery, watches, pharmaceuticals, textiles, precision instruments, chemicals, tourism, banking and insurance. Switzerland has a shortage of skills in terms of auditors, accountants, civil servants, medical staff, pharmacists, mid-level managers, tax consultants, programmers, project managers, builders, technical specialists, and teachers. At number three on the list, we have Iceland. Even though immigrants make up 15% of the population, it accounts to only 55,354 people, considering Iceland's limited population. Iceland's strong economy is largely thanks to its tourism industry. The country welcomed nearly 700,000 tourists in 2021. The island is sparsely populated with a small number of urban areas and while the summer days might seem to last forever with 22 hours of daylight, the winter months can be particularly harsh. The average annual salary in Iceland is $72,000. Financial insurance jobs make $86,000. Electricity and gas supply jobs make $82,000. Public administration and security jobs make $69,000. Healthcare makes $66,000, information and communications make $65,000, and transportation and storage make $61,000. The monthly cost of living for a single person is $3,272, and the monthly cost of living for a family of four is $6,436. The top industries include tourism, fish processing, geothermal power, hydropower, aluminium smelting, ferrosilicon production. Iceland has a skilled shortage in terms of advertising and marketing professionals, bus and tram drivers, chefs, electrical equipment installers, general practitioners, house builders, plumbers, teachers, engineers and software developers and waiters. The country that pays the second highest in the world is Luxembourg. Luxembourg, which offers high-quality living and education and has an average salary that are higher than in neighboring countries, enjoys a luxurious life. Expats offer certain tax exemptions as well. The country also has a low unemployment rate, solid growth and low inflation. The average salary in Luxembourg is $73,000. The other average annual salaries include banking, which is $69,000, commerce at $54,000, information technology at $74,000, management at $85,000, and pharma at $63,000. The monthly cost of living for a single person is $3,105. The monthly cost of living for a family of four 
is $4,586. The top industries include banking and financial services, real estate services, construction, steel, metals, glass, aluminium, information technology, telecommunications, engineering, cargo transportation, chemicals, biotechnology, and tourism. Luxembourg has a shortage of skills for financial specialists, logistics specialists, and aeronautical engineers. And at the top of the list is the country that needs no introduction, the US. The US has 26% of its population in 2021 in the form of immigrants. The job market remains competitive and international graduates will really need to sell their qualifications and experience to employers. While jobs claim to be from 9 to 5 in many cases, a 12-hour work shift is common, especially in legal or medical professions. The average salary in the US is $74,000. Banking makes about $79,000. Economy, finance and accounting jobs make approximately $71,000. Information technology makes $98,000. Management jobs make $99,000. And technology development makes $90,000 on an average. The monthly cost of living for a single person is $2,947. The monthly cost of living for a family of four is $5,133. The top industries in the US include consumer goods, electronics, petroleum, steel, motor vehicles, telecommunications, food processing, aerospace, lumber, mining, and chemicals. The US has a shortage of skills for nurses, statisticians, physician assistants, service specialists for wind turbines, mathematicians, assistant physiotherapists, information security analysts, professional therapy assistants, personal care assistants, and physiotherapists. Now, you've seen how these countries stack up against each other when it comes to how much each country pays, but does the same order hold good in terms of cost of living? No, it doesn't. When it comes to cost of living for a single person, the order is Switzerland at the highest being the most expensive country to live in, followed by Iceland, Luxembourg, USA, Norway, Denmark, Netherlands, Austria, Germany, and finally, Belgium. The list is a slightly different when it comes to the cost of living for a family of four. Once again, Switzerland is the most expensive country to stay in, followed by Iceland, Norway, USA, Luxembourg, Denmark, Netherlands, Austria, Germany, and finally, Belgium. So now you know which countries pay the most so that you can decide which country you would like to try and move to accordingly. But here's the thing, another huge challenge is in terms of getting a visa to work in that country or to live in that country. Now, if you need help in trying to figure out which countries are the easiest to move to after getting a visa or a PR, all you need to do is watch this video.